Well, welcome to the DigiMedia Dude Expo coverage here at NAB 2016. Thank you. And you're with Blackmagic Design, and behind you, you've got Resolve, the yep. latest version, right? Brand new version of DaVinci Resolve, version 12.5, which went public beta yesterday. And tell us what's new with it. So there are um, literally over 1,000 enhancements and 250 new features in this version of Resolve. We uh, started out making this a small release, which is why we called it 12.5. We are going to do lots of little refinements that the editors and colorists would really appreciate to help make their lives a lot easier. And then uh, our engineering team is awesome. They got ahead of themselves and they started putting in some pretty big, cool features too. So um, it's actually a huge release for us. It's one of our biggest releases ever. Now, one of the trends that's happening with your uh, product is you're going, most products are incorporating a lot of more color features into their NLE. You're going the reverse because you were a color tool right. and now you're making an NLE. Yeah. So, are you trying to become the fourth big one, or is a third? I forget now how many, but... So, uh, we are definitely a professional NLE now. Right. So, absolutely. Uh, as you mentioned, Resolve started as a high-end color grading and finishing tool for feature film, television, commercial post, and it's used on probably the majority of Hollywood films and television commercials today for finishing a color. So, um, we started to turn it into an NLE a few years ago at the request of our customers, and with version 12, and especially now with 12.5, I think you've got virtually every imaginable editing tool um, in the application. So regardless of where you're coming from or what you've used, um, you'll find the editing tools that you need in DaVinci Resolve 12.5. Uh, we've done a lot of work to really fine tune the editing and trimming performance, as well as the tool set. So uh, there are entirely dozens of new editing tools alone in this release that we think editors are going to love. Now, um, you have a free version of Resolve. Uh, so is your target market still the film industry, or are you going after, let's say, corporate marketing kind of people that need to do a lot of video? We think that um, world-class editing and grading shouldn't be limited to just Hollywood. Right. One of the reasons we have a free version is because we think that these tools should be available to everybody. It's very democratizing. So whether you're cutting a corporate video or a wedding video or, or just doing some stuff at home, you can use the same tools and get the same quality that Hollywood professionals are using. So you've got the same, uh, the differences between the free version and the paid version of DaVinci Resolve Studio um, are basically, the free version is SD, HD, and Ultra HD only. The paid version adds 4K and like cinema quality output to it. You add stereoscopic 3D, temporal and spatial noise reduction. There are some filters and effects in the paid version that aren't in the free, free version, um, and some collaborative workflow features. But by and large, the free version is a fully functional NLE for SD, HD, and Ultra HD. So the free version will support uh, Ultra UHD, but not the full 4K. Right, so we'll go up to 38, 40 by 21, right. 60. Right. And then anything beyond that, which would be film resolution, right. you'd have to buy the, the studio version of. Right, that makes sense. Um, and this, you also have a 3D compositing this works with? Yeah, so we have an application called Fusion, which is a 3D compositing, visual effects, motion graphics application. And it's a node-based editing uh, application. So you build effects by combining different image operations and nodes. It's like a flow chart. Right. right? Um, similar to how Resolve's color I was going to say, uses, Resolve uses, uses nodes. nodes. Right. So some of our customers are already familiar with that. Um, so we now added Fusion Connect, which lets me send any clip or stack of clips from Resolve directly into Fusion for visual effects. And this works for a single user workstation or if you're on a network with um, other users, you can send a shot to another visual effects artist. When the shot is rendered out of Fusion and done, it updates and resolves timeline, and there are commands that you can use to refresh the shot and resolves timeline, so you always see the most current, finished version of the rendered effect from Fusion. And you can, of course, go back and forth between right. the two. Now, the hottest trend here in NAB is obviously 360 video and VR. Are you guys supporting anything in the current version, or is that something you're looking to support in the future? You no, know, we're keeping our eye on the VR space, of course. It's hot right now. Um, but this version of Resolve adds um, basically, like I said, a lot of editing and color tools. And we've also added a lot of HDR support because uh, right now I think the really hot topic is HDR, it's high dynamic range. Right. And VR is probably a little further down the road. So we're doing lots of HDR grading. We have new HDR grading modes. Yeah. Um, support for HDR10, Dolby Vision, that kind of thing in Resolve. Okay. And then finally, uh, plugins. A lot of the NLEs, right, they have a third-party API that allows right. third-party uh, plugins to be created. Do you guys offer something similar now that you are becoming sort of an NLE? Absolutely. So for audio, we work with VST and audio unit uh, plugins. 
And for video, we work with OpenFX plugins. So you can go buy you know, Sapphire, um, use it on Resolve. We also, for the first time with this version of Resolve, have included some of our own uh, plugins, and we're calling them Resolve Effects. So you get things like lens flares, distortions, blurs, embosses, um, all kinds of fun effects and filters that you can now use in Resolve that are written by us ourselves. And they're GPU accelerated, so they work really, really fast. I see. But um, absolutely, we are um, welcome to the third-party OpenFX plugins. Right, and it's uh, um, device agnostic, meaning, or OS agnostic, meaning can you run it on Windows and Mac? Yeah, so Resolve is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And Linux, okay. Yeah. All right, sounds good. And if people want to download the free version, where do they go? Blackmagicdesign.com. Just click on products and hit DaVinci Resolve and you'll see the link right there. Great, Paul. Thank you so much for the information. Thanks.